is the perfect day for a craft. Today, we're gonna be making candy wreaths. 7.22 on Thursday, December 7th. Holy crap. It's a nor'easter. Look at all this friggin' snow. Oh shit, snow's coming in. Metal hangers, beading wire, pliers, a bin, and a shitload of candy to put in this bin. These are the candies that I like to get. They're easy to work with. They have a twist end, so they're easy to apply to the hanger. Smarties, they're really good. And I also like to get two bags of each kind of candy because I don't know how much I'm gonna need and just makes it a little bit more versatile. So all these candies are really good. Of course, you gotta get the peppermint ones. These are all from Walmart. These bags right here are a dollar. Actually, they're 90 cents. Okay. Root beer, yum. And of course, candy canes to put as a garnish, and I'll show you later. Okay, let's get started. Step one, put all the candy in the bucket. That may have not been a very good idea. Step two, mix the candy, very gentle. Step three. Now take your hanger and bend it to round it out like this. Gotta get the corners all rounded. And make it look like circular as best as you can. is going to be the top of the wreath. I like to do my wreaths sitting on the couch, Indian style, and having this sit on my lap. And as I go around, it kind of just lays right there in the nook of my legs. But you can do it however you would like, whatever is more comfortable. For this purpose, I'm gonna be doing it on the table. Whatever is comfortable for you. Try a couple different ways, whatever works best for you. Once you have it rounded in shape, take your uh, beading wire and get a whole bunch of it out. You don't want to leave it on the spoolie when you're going because then you're going to have to be taking this and going around. It's just extra that is not very necessary. Get a whole bunch off and it's okay if it's not long enough because we can always tie on more as we go. We just don't wanna to have too much in the way while we're trying to wrap the candy around. So get the end of your wire, any end, put it through. Have a fair amount on the end because we are going to be, as we're putting the candy on, bringing this with us so we know the candy is securely on. So then you just knot it up. You could do a single knot, a double knot, whatever you feel is more comfortable. I'll just do a single knot. Okay. So now we have the two right here. We have the end to end. 
and then the rest of the line, we are just gonna be putting them together. So make sure this is all the way at the top. You wanna take a piece of candy, preferably a bigger kind of candy because we want to put it at the top, but we also wanna hide this. We're gonna hide any kind of, knowing that this is really a wire. I know it sounds weird, but we don't want people to know that this is a wire. So we put this right there, the end. That's why it's best to get twisty ends. It's easier to work with and you know that it's gonna be securely on. So put it in there, right there, like that, and just wrap it around as tight as you can get it. This is the challenging part because it's that first candy and it's, you just wanna get it securely on. And you also wanna make sure there's nothing in the way and you have full control of all your wire. So as you're wrapping a candy around, you wanna make sure you pull the wire all the way through and make sure that you have the other end of it. So this one, we're gonna wrap a bunch of times just to know that the candy is securely on. Make sure that all that wire is all the way around. Okay, so first candy on. Now you want to hold the wire on both ends so it doesn't unravel. Make sure it's tight at all times with your extra hand. Put this finger there. So when you go to grab another candy, it doesn't all unravel. And you wanna change up your candy every time. Wrap it around. And wrap it around again to make sure it's fully securely on there. It feels a little awkward at first, but you will definitely get used to it. And it'll start going a little bit faster. And I also like to, if I notice that you can see some of the wire in between the last candy you did and the one before that, I will put a candy in between there to make it look a little fuller. There we go. And then you just keep adding it on. Take your candy, put it right in there, hold it down, take your wire and wrap it around. And you always wanna wrap it in the same direction, obviously, so the candy doesn't come off. And then just keep going with it. Place a candy, wrap it around, and voila. And this, my friends, is the final product. I wanted to tell you. So the candy cane that we had in the box, as I said, was the garnish. We were gonna put right here and tie it on by ribbon. If you have extra ribbon laying around or a bow or anything like that to add to it, just put it right here and it'll hide all the little imperfections right there. This one I didn't finish because I wanted to show you. Any kind of bow you have laying around, Christmassy, or anything like that will work. Ribbon, bow. There we go. And that's it. And this is a candy wreath. It's very heavy and it takes a couple hours to make. An extra hour added on if you have kids, you are warned. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe below. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Have a blessed day.
Have a great day. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below and I'll see you soon.